Welcome. Kia ora, I'm Jermaine from VR Studio. Thanks for ordering one of our VR home kits. I'm going to take you through the basics on how to get set up. First of all, open up your kit. Locate your user's manual and carefully check that everything is accounted for and in the condition noted in your manual. Okay, clear a space away from direct sunlight. It's best to play on a soft surface like carpet. Make sure you have plenty of room to move and nothing around you could hit. All right, time to gear up and get playing. Gear, gear up. up! First grab your controllers marked R for right and L for left. Attach your wrist straps and tighten. Slip your hands into the grip strap. Push the base and pull to tighten. For hands free. Next, grab your headset. Remove the protective covers. The headset battery lasts two hours. If you need more time, take out the power bank accessories. Attach like so. And press the power button. Place the headset on and hit the power button. Make sure it cradles the back of your head. Adjust the headset up and down until the graphics look sharp. Adjust the toggle on the bottom of the headset until the focus is just right. Great job! Now that's done, let's set up your play area. Play area! You have the option to either play seated, standing, or customise your own play area. You'll need to create a new guardian. First of all, you'll need to set your floor height. A grid will appear. If it doesn't match your floor, select Reset and follow the instructions. If it does, select Confirm and let's keep going. Go time. Go time. If you don't have much space or you want to play seated, select Skip and Confirm to start playing. For a custom play area, you'll need a minimum of 3 meters squared. Once you've confirmed the floor height, define your play area by pulling the trigger and drawing your boundary line. Make sure you leave extra space between walls and other obstructions. Confirm when it's looking good, and now let's get ready to play. Welcome to your VR lounge. To start playing, select library by pointing and pulling the trigger, and select game to get started. If you're a first timer, choose First Steps for a fun tutorial on how to use your controllers. To pause or go back to your menu at any time, hold the right Oculus button down. Tips and tricks. Here's some tips and tricks to optimize your experience. If you want to share your experience and have Chromecast at home, simply hold the Oculus button to go to the menu. Select Settings and then Wi-Fi. Add your Wi-Fi password, and once connected, look at your menu and select Sharing and then Cast. To adjust the volume, find the button on the bottom right of your headset. Move volume up or down to suit, or mute is a great idea if you're casting. You can easily check your battery life in the VR menu. Change a battery in your controllers by removing the safety strap and grip cover. Make sure you secure the safety strap before resuming in VR. Do, 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 do. do make sure you put the eye cover on in between use. Don't play outdoors on direct sunlight. Do eat thousands of digital donuts while in job simulator. 
Don't lean on any VR tables. Do enjoy VR with family and friends. Don't leave cables or equipment in reach of chewy animals. All right, that's it from us at VR Studio. Everything you need to know is in your user's manual, including our contact details if you need a human's help. Happy gaming! Ka kite anō! Later, dudes!